It's like, like really, I thought I didn't know bell peppers were even spicy, period. There's some capsation in them. Uh, well, anyway, we get we ready to go. Y'all all stacked up the way you want to be. Remember, there is a uh, there is a little gap here on the porch, so to get up, it requires like like uh, extra square movement. I figured. It's it's like entering. Diff- it's kind of like entering difficult terrain. The porch itself is not difficult terrain, but you know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so Grungar, what do you do? Uh, I checked the door. Is unlocked? It is indeed locked. Okay. I'll give this a shot. It's been yeah, a while since I did. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll just assume I've taken them hostage as my own for now. Ooh, ooh, good job, the Grungar. Okay. All right, Plus door is un- the door is uh, unlocked. Okay. Uh, uh, if I, you know, signal everyone, I guess we'll get a surprise round. Squeak! Door opens. Okay, hang on, hang on a minute. Let me uh, get rid of uh, some things off the initiative list. Mm-hmm. Everybody, everybody, re-roll your initiatives. Uh, sure thing. Bam. Slightly Although, honestly, better. Okay, I guess these are the new initiatives. I guess we should probably do dungeon initiatives now that we are entering a quasi dungeon. But mini dungeons. Okay. Let me sort this. The house actually very strangely extends very far to the northwest. Okay, so it's a very uh, so Grungar house. Grungar I assume opens the door. Yeah. Okay, so Cintiq, uh Yeah, it's like. Actually, I'm going to say Grungar, that was your surprise action, yeah. was opening the door. Mm-hmm. I would assume as much. Yeah, so uh, everybody kind of jiggle your tokens. Okay. Do the truffle shuffle. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if your angle sees it, but there are two guys in there I can see right off the bat. Yeah. You are. Let's see. Right there. Okay. <clears throat> I can see that square fine, so scorching burst. Mm-hmm. Uh, combat advantage, cause surprise round. And two enemies. Oh, can't do All anything right. about a botch. Alright. So Hemic. Okay. Um, uh, do I even could charge, but I kind of be in everyone else's way. I think I might just, just might throw a thing straight in there. Okay. Do you have that equipped? I mean, uh, if I was going to do it beforehand, I'd have it. I mean, it doesn't, it's up to you really. Uh, I figured you were, like, gunning to charge, so you would have had your axe. Uh, How would I have done that? Because, yeah, well, I guess I can only charge the closest one anyway. Well, I don't have to, but I don't want to, like, be super in the way. Okay. So we'll just only charge to there, then. Okay, course of despair. All right, he uh, has, have, he has he has cover. Do I have combat advantage? You do have combat advantage. So it just kind of negates the two. 20 versus That hits. Cover. 24 damage. And he's prone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ow. Right off the bat. Okay. All right, so it's uh, Tarkus next. Yay. Uh, apparently, I can see Corpse of Despair. Yeah. Uh, I that's probably concealment, though. Or well, cover. what if you use a burst attack? You could. Yeah, if I use a burst attack, I could, I could hit Grungar and Hemic. <laughs> 
No, just he might have used the corpse of despair as the as the center. Uh, center. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm, yeah, if I yeah, would that be negative two then? To Hemic. Uh, well, no, because it's just enemies only. Uh, oh no, it's not going to be negative two. It ignores it because the origin square. If the origin square is there, it's ignoring cover to the two creatures because it it's cover based on where the origin square is. Okay. Okay, because yeah, it's kind he, of so. Because if it did target Hemic, it Hemic would have cover against against it because he'd be out of his origin square if the origin square was there. Okay. Okay, so let's do that. You have combat advantage, by the way. Yay. Okay, let's go title spirit shot. Uh, I forgot, Grungar, you can teleport, can't you? Like once per encounter. Yes, I can. Is this on here? No, nope, but I do. Yeah, you can. as long as you're adjacent to a guy, you could, you could actually teleport into the room after, like on your turn. Yeah, I did bad. <laughs> All right, let's see here. 16 Three, and 15 and 16. Did you include combat advantage? In yeah, that? I did. Okay, yeah. No, they missed. That was awful. Like a three and a four. Wait I rolled a second. Four. Were you rolling against the Corpse of Despair and then Hemic? Because there's another no, one Coffer, that the Burst would hit. Coffer, no, he's war rolling against Coffer Corpse and Corpse of Despair. Oh, okay. his, his Burst worked It's like It's this. enemies only. Uh, oh, oh, oh it is. I didn't even yeah. notice that. Nice. There you go. Okay. All right. So anyway, uh, I'll add these guys to the initiative. And copper corpse. And corpse of despair. Okay. Sort. Okay, Corpse of Despair is up first. Corpse of Despair stands up. And what is he going to do? Is he going to attack me? Yeah, he is. He's going to use a Crushing Despair. Okay, no he's not. Okay. Oh, nice. I gotta remember to call that. <laughs> like, yeah, that's why I, had, to that's why I specifically had attack. to ask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you were okay. doing that, because otherwise I never get to use uh, it. Sometimes, sometimes I'll just be like, "Okay, he does this against you." <laughs> yeah, I understand. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, he stands up, and well, he can't really reach anybody else. He's going to. Uh, he's going to just shift here, then. Well, he stood up with his, with his yeah movement. yeah yeah he and can't it's just... when he he used his act, standard action to attack it's just oh, before uh, he rolls oh, okay. I move yeah okay so yeah he's kind of he's flummoxed I guess <laughs> he can't do anything else or just, just move on to Cintiq he goes to attack me and then I'm not there and then it's like oh, can't he cannot yeah. like redirect his attack <laughs> so he's just like mm -hmm. yeah Burn his <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Antique grenades. I can imagine how infuriating that would be if a monster did that. <laughs> well, I can only. Only. Some do. I, I I, yeah. Oh yeah. I know. Yeah. But still, imagine someone tried tried to pull a daily on him and he did that. <laughs> Actually, I think that happened to me once um, in Mark's game. Like I'm I was I sure dropped. It did. Yeah, it did. Well, it was, a, it was Doctor Jackal. Those monster powers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doctor Doctor Jackal. Doctor Jackal, and I had my. I had my freaking, I had my freaking uh, daily that I was going to use on him. I, I had him dead to rights too, and this thing was going to hurt. And he's like, nope. Yeah, he was a bit of a All right. uh, douche. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so uh, misses and <clears throat> uh, hits. Okay. All right. Next up's the coffer corpse. Offer corpse uh, shifts to here. Is he gonna shift to there? Cool. Well, he doesn't know. Well, I guess the other guy probably keep, keyed him off. Cause wasn't Grungo still hiding by the doorway? He's still hidden, yeah. But Grungo did not make an attack. He didn't make an. He did open the door, though. Yeah. 
What direction does the door open in? Actually, He's behind the door. Sight wise, he can't see me. <laughs> Yeah, he wouldn't know. He he's probably going to he pro yeah. he's probably going to actually just move out. So yeah, he's he's going to he's going to move out to try to attack Hemek. So go ahead and make your uh, opportunity attack Grungar. Uh, as he walks by. You. Okay, that's a normal melee basic then in this Yeah, it's just normal melee basic. He just walked by you. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, it was eventually going to happen. Whoops. Wah, wah, wah. Uh Nine extra damage. Okay, so thirty-three, four, thirty-three damage. Boom! Right by him. Okay. Anyway, he's gonna double attack. Okay, that's second one will miss. Okay, so you're taking ongoing fifteen as long as you're grabbed. Okay, and it's twenty damage. Okay. Right, so anyway, that's uh, his his turn. Grungar, it's your turn. My turn. I will move right there and uh, go ahead and try to finish off the coffer corpse. Okay. We and that. Aw. Aw. That that wasn't quite as lovely as I could have made that. That was. Okay, so twenty-seven damage. Oh, oh. Probably has like a minuscule <laughs> amount of health. And my love opened the door. Well, nice and and the since door. He can magic missile him in worst case scenario. Uh my, my turn's done. In the door. Okay. Hey Mac. We can probably oh, escape. Uh, I'm going. Take fifteen damage. Yay. Yeah, I was trying to avoid that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, he's not grabbing you anymore. <laughs> really? Secondary, hit the corpse. Never trust these things. Yeah, I'm probably going to. I mean, I don't have anything else to do with this attack. So, I'll probably just hit him. Unless anyone else has an idea. Yeah, it's not really considered a coup de grace because coup de grace is a standard action. So you're just kind of hitting him regular. Okay. Oh. Is it helpless against me? It is helpless, so yeah, that hits. Yep. It just does, it, does, it doesn't do auto crit damage, though. No. Uh, then I'm going to spend my second wind. Oh, nice. I'm going to stay here. Okay. Oh, save. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. You don't have to save. He's not grabbing you. <laughs> he stopped grabbing you a while back. Tarkus. Dead my love open the door. Dead is Dead a hell of a status effect. <laughs> to your heart. Dun, 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 dun. I think we want to pile on the coffer corpse now. Corpse of despair. Gaze upon my true form and despair. So what are you doing, Tarkus? Ash, are you there? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Um, <laughs> I'm just wondering, does he want to spend a healing surge? Well, I just did, but I still can spend another one. I mean, I know, he's not bodied right now, so. Um, okay, well, let's do this. Yeah, let's mm. do this. Ah, let's, geez, minor traitor, that sucks. HP down? I'm in Hawaii, so I, I don't I don't feel yeah, any of y'all's pain. Down. Okay, well, uh, just tell me after I've done the attack if you want uh, me to use a rune ending. Um, okay, wait, let's 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 do flames of purity from not there. Basically, it's blast. Oh, okay. First, no, it's blast. I'm pretty sure. All right. 
It's from me. Yeah, blast. There we go. Okay, okay so top to bottom. Also, Grungar gets free extra health back. Great, good, amazing. <laughs> it's like we're just going to auto attack anyone. Um... Who's who's dead? Yep. Okay. Let's just include that guy because he could come back. He's a zombie. Totally a zombie. You I missed missed, <laughs> missed the guy and the helpless guy. You hit him. Okay, it's dead. It's definitely dead. Good. <clears throat> there you go, Grungar. There's that one hit point you were missing. <laughs> Yay, all is well in the world. <laughs> As I, I get crit. <laughs> God damn it. Um, okay. Uh, does he make one room amending? I mean, it'll probably not be a waste of HP. Uh, okay. Yeah, that means everyone gets a bonus to AC too, so that's not bad. All bonus to defenses. Oh, you get the whole six. Yay! And then each ally within five gets plus one to all defenses, and Hema can choose to get an extra plus two to AC and reflex or shift. I don't have any reason to shift, so... Okay. Yay! All right. Next up is the Corpse of Despair! Corpse of Despair is going to attack Grungar. Granted, Grungar does have cover from this because of the doorway. But he's going to try to use his crushing despair attack on Grungar. So this is a minus two. A hey, misses. Yep. And uh, that's his turn. Cintiq. Uh, hmm. <coughs> uh, well, I want to move. Stay away from a burst five of this guy anyways. Do I see you here? What one point do I see a square where I can nab you? Yes, I do. Not that it really matters, because why not? Just magic missile him. So okay, damage. how much damage is that? Nine force okay. damage. Alright, he takes nine damage. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be chilling over here, just in case. You guys can handle okay. it. Alright, it's Grungar's turn. Yay, Gungar Jarring Smash. Uh, okay, he has he has a uh, he has partial conceal or <laughs> partial cover from that because of the take a step in you there know, first. Yeah. Doorway. I, okay, it's it's I, it's a hard it's it's a hard corner because it's a doorway. Okay, I'll shift up then. And okay. Do it. Yeah, shifting is does doesn't hurt at all. Usually not. Of course, not. you could also have teleported in there, but uh, I know. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah, 15 <clears throat> damage. He goes down. Yeah. So yeah, unless he stands up, combat ends. <laughs> it would seem that way. Yes. Just gonna do this because I, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Smash, smash, smash. Mm -hmm. And the bear skin rug stands up. <laughs> it was one of the it was one of those skin monsters. <laughs> Perception check. Does it stand up? I I see potatoes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So any, anyway, yeah, uh Yeah, you guys beat the crap out of everything pretty well. So I guess you guys just throw them out there on the pile. Yeah. Making a big conflagration on the way out. Yeah. Okay, yep. So, yeah, there's some patio furniture and a bearskin rug and a burnout fireplace. The only reason this room is really illuminated is because, well, it's daytime and uh, I don't, I didn't feel like uh, switching over to night mode. Mm -hmm. Although, probably when you guys go in there, I'll just go ahead and switch it over to uh, night so someone may need to get like a torch out or something. Oh, I have the ever burning torch of ever burning. It oh burns. yeah, Mr. Nightlight's not with us. 
things are very awkward without him. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm going to uh, make the make the vision uh, night. So hang on, let me uh, jiggle you. There you go. Darkness. Oh. Is it a five or a four for the torch? Uh, five, I believe. Might be five, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's five. Be. It's five hundred squares. You were right. Five hundred. Not like it matters indoors if it's five hundred squares. But it Ever does. Burning sun. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, I'm gonna have to make you take fire damage for that because there's no way. <laughs> Permanent I blindness until it's unequipped. It's like I understand. I understand. You know. You know that it doesn't give off heat, but at the same time, man. It's okay, it's- Two of them have fire resistance. Your eyes have to roll a saving throw. Do they have? Do they have resist one hundred fire resistance? Maybe. Hey. Nope. <laughs> In fact, that will probably kill them just outright. Kill some yeah. teeth. How much health does Gringo have? As a max sixty-four. So I kill him. Uh, no, you just survive one turn of it. Because if your fire resistance <laughs> goes into it. You'd be at almost negative bloodied. Oh, that is true. <laughs> I'd just be sitting on the ground in pain. Santee would be wiped away, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so are there doors in this room? Or maybe I just can't see them. Yeah, this is a door right here. Okay, that one. It's just not. It's just not open. I know it shows open, but it's not open yet. It's just kind of to illustrate that it was. Uh, yeah. Is it open? Uh, I don't know the original artist's intent. So. <laughs> Door locked or door? It's unlocked. It's unlocked. Oh, okay. Uh, been into <coughs> uh, same verse, same as the first. Um, we'll be prepared actions, and I'll go ahead and open the door. Okay. We're just going to go with the dungeon initiative, so whatever y'all's initiative is right now. Well, that's decent. Okay, everybody, me. jiggle your token. There is a hallway. Okay. Sorry, I'm just getting rid of tokens off the off the initiative list. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't see down hallways unless Tarkus is around. Yeah. That is that leads upstairs, Tarkus. Uh huh. And then there was the upper corridor just below me, which had a door. Okay. There is a door next to Grungar, and then there's a door right here. Yeah. Um, and there's also a door. Also, there's a door right in front of you. Is there a door? A door here? right here. A door right here, and a door right here. And yes, a door is down there. Well, yeah. Hmm. You want to start with uh, Tar- Tarkus? Mm-hmm. Tarkus, what, Tarkus, do you want to open the door you're next to? Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do that. Okay, it is unlocked. Okay. You open it up. To jiggle your token, but it appears to be some kind of a kitchen. (laughs) Note raid. Delicious food. Can we check for food? Uh, This place looks pretty (laughs) sparse. It doesn't look like there's any, like like the guy said this was his summer home. They were probably moving out, even though it's early spring. They're probably just they would probably fled a city to try to get, you know, you know, just out out away from it, out into this cottage. Mm-hmm. But uh, obviously, it didn't work out the way they planned. But yeah, no, there's no food here. Well, such a good perception check. Food appears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Grungar. This was yeah, I'm sure some food appears. There's like some Christmas puddings and some eggnog and a whole roast turkey. The house was made of gingerbread. It was amazing. <laughs> I will open the door to Gungar's right then. Okay. <laughs> All right. It is open. Okay. Do the jiggle. Do the jiggle. Jiggle the uh, uh, did. So it's just Tar- Tarkus. Tarkus is not illuminated. Right, right. Oh. Yeah, just go ahead and place him on top of me. I can grab Grungar again. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, Grungar, as you as you move there, uh, a this happens. Does twenty six hit your AC? Yeah, that that will hit. Okay, you take four damage as uh, a arm with a dagger uh, jabs at you from underneath the table and stabs you in the foot. Oh, wow, that table is offensive. You better kill it. Okay, well we're gonna do life ending strike. <laughs> It appears to be a young, it, well, well, no, it appears to be a middle-aged woman. Um, I'm going to. Uh, okay, first I'll, sell, I'll yell for Cintiq to probably come in here and try to talk to her as I shadow step. Oh, she's okay. supposed to knock her out. I mean. I will come up there in diplomacy. Or no, I'll, I'll just. Yeah. I'll just shift. Uh, she, she, so. she, uh, she immediately starts <laughs> crawls out, crawls out over, <clears throat> crawls, crawls out into the shadows. Okay. She crawl, she crawls away under the table and into the shadows. She activated my trap card, Vengeful Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, she's okay. She's cornered. She's cornered in. The, she's uh, in the corner. Dark rings under her eyes, and she's holding up a dagger, just shouting, "Stay back! Stay back, you monsters!" Great. Okay, there she is. Ah, yes, and there is the good lady of the house. You are one to calm yourself. We are the help your husband asked for. And while doing that, I'll suggestion. Yeah, that's better. Like, you're the help my husband sent for. <laughs> he basically Jedi mind tricked her. That's yes. kind of that's kind of how I that's kind of how I RP uh, the suggestion power because you're using magic to diplomatize someone. I think that's pretty much how it's meant. Like, I'm pretty yeah, sure they could they would have called it that. Yeah. She she lowers her weapon. Good, good. Now, your alarm was, of course, understandable. But these two here are actually quite noble fighters against the undead scourge. Which is why the help is enlisted in freeing you from this death trap which your house became. It's like, oh, the undead scourge, the undead empire, the undead rebels, any unaffiliated undead. <laughs> it's the undead in general. <laughs> <coughs> okay. We tried to take the name Ghostbusters, but uh, it was copyrighted, so we had to go with the uh, Smashy Brigade. Couldn't so we, it was copyrighted, so we went with the real a terribly different system. Yeah, <laughs> we went with the real Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> but that was taken yeah. too. But we already okay. pre-ordered the T-shirts, so we changed the R to like a small R. <laughs> All right. So anyway, anyway, she's she's like, well. Well, it's good you came. Uh, she's she's pretty out of it. You could tell she's been through hell. Yes, well, um, it looks like this room has actually held them off quite well. So, how about you remain here, quiet, while we clean the rest of the house out? It should not take too There's much no... longer. <sighs> if you could get... If you could try and get me to the master bedroom, there's an actual lock on that one. It might be, I think I'd be a little safer there. Well, I was thinking we could just jerry rig something up, but okay. Just make sure you follow us quite far behind, so that hopefully no undead beasties come out and nibble on your giblets. What I will do for now is continue hiding under the table and then come get me when, you know... The master bed. Just go back. That, just go back down the hall, past the stairs. At the end of the hallway, there, there's the uh, master bedroom. Stomp, 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 stomp. Oh. And yeah, she's she's uh, gonna. She decides to hide back under the table. Yeah, that is a good point, though. At some point, we should think of a name. We are long overdue. 
the part the party uh, party name. Let's go, Ghostbusters. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, the other one became the God Squad. Not by our, <laughs> not totally by our decision making, but hey, it was a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the <laughs> it's the door at the end of this hall. Although Tarkus needs to, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, Tarkus, there you go. Please. Tarkus, Tarkus gives up. No, <laughs> no, Tarkus, not now. He drops the torch and falls over. <laughs> <laughs> has has a heart attack. Mm-hmm. The undead Olympics okay. are over. Yeah, the, this door is unlocked, but you can see where there is a keyhole on it. Okay. Um, uh, everyone prepared whatever you want to do, and I will open the door. Squee! All right, so yeah, so uh, surprise round, I take it? Actually, no, let's see here. There's not really much of a surprise because, you know, you guys made a lot of noise <coughs> coming in. Oh, okay. So just, yeah. just Grungar opens the door. And uh, I'm just going to start rolling initiative for, you know. So I'm just, I'm going to roll initiative for these, for these guys. Then the house rolls initiative. Monster house. Just hear large crunching sounds from the room we left. Oh, well. Corpses of three <laughs> and five. I'm sure that's all that's in here. 92, that's not a... No, I'm not worried. Not worried at all. Okay. Sort. So, Cintiq, you're up first. Okay. <laughs> that's about what I can see, so... Okay, so that's two targets. Okay. Watching a burst. Two. Two. Wow. Hang on. I'm just I'm popping out the chat. Sorry about that. Alright, so let's see here. Hits and hits. So Alright, so let's see here. Uh, very uneven tonight. 14 for rolling high and low. What do you mean? For my attack roll. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I think I, I, I thought I thought I balanced these encounters pretty well, <laughs> all things considered. Yeah. And, all right. Uh, uh, be Cintiq's turn, I think. Unless would anyone want her to move back a little bit? I don't think that would really help yeah. any, but it might. You always move mm-hmm. up again. Yeah, I'll just move back too in case. Okay, so zombie strangler. Six is going to move like this. Grungar has cover from this attack. But he is going to try to... Uh... I imagine strangle me. Yep. And he misses. This one moves... This one moves like this. And he is also going to try to strangle you. And he misses. And then uh, a pair of hands comes leaping at you, so you get to opportunity attack them, Grungar. That hits. I refuse to let these things get me. Grungar, slayer of hands. (laughs) 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 This thing's come crawling on the floor. Anyway, that's the uh, zombie... Strangler's turns. Grungar, it's your turn. Yay, it is my turn. Um, I, what I plan to do is sort of ruined by this. So I'll just go ahead and... Actually, hmm. Nah, this... Yeah, why not? Best time ever to use it. Okay. Seven. Okay. And, uh, or I meant to be here actually, the eh, spot to my right that I can't enter. Okay. Oh, right here. Oh, right there? Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna lock them all down. Yeah. <laughs> Against the corpse of despair, we will go ahead and do. It's good thing yeah, this one. Despair is dead. It's like if we had to fight a living despair. <laughs> 
We'll do better damage. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, okay. 34 damage. Get out, crit. Come close to it. That's my turn. All right. Uh, Grungar, you hear... <gasps> You hear the sound of breathing down your neck right here. Ooh, hello. And something in the shadows attacks you with combat advantage because you can't see it. Aim misses. It just bang clanks off your tough hide. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> clanks off. And it moves. It, it and it and it moves. You can you can hear it moving. Mm. Anyway, that's its turn. Hemic. That's actually pretty handy. Okay. Does he go down? He's destroyed. And the thing does not pop up right away. Um, no, they do I not. Attack it again and try and prevent it from happening. Try and attack what? its hands. I guess you could try and attack its hands. You'll take a minus two penalty just because you know they're, you know, kind of splayed apart. Yeah, basically like a cold shot. Yeah, you still hit. So yeah, he just. I'm just deleting them off. I'm just gonna uh, the ones that have already you know shot. Sh oh, uh oh, Grungar, no! No, not Grungar. <laughs> Whoops. He went into the void, guys. He, he used Shadow Step. I was scared <laughs> of this. <laughs> this is why we didn't want uh, Grungar yeah. doing magic. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me <laughs> let me go back to the. Let me go back and grab him. Hang on. Some things weren't meant to happen. Why are there two dust to dust maps? This is weird. That I don't know. I only see maybe, the one, but maybe when uh, Dill had the host for a little bit. It shows two. I don't know why it's showing two, but anyway. Does anyone else see two maps? No. 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 I want to see one. I think whichever one we don't see should just have wolves all over it. Okay, Grungar, you're back. Okay, uh, let me just. I know what my health and everything was at. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. No, it's okay. <laughs> I was trying to click the guy underneath you, and I thought I had him selected, but obviously not. Okay. Accidents happen when you play with shadow magic. I know, right? Okay, so he make you. That's your turn. The corpse of despair stands up, <coughs> and he is going to try to attack you, Grungar, with a uh, crushing despair attack, and he is flanking, and he misses. Man, what did I roll? Yeah. Tarkus. Okay, so there's like a guy right there. That's annoying. Uh. <clears throat> okay. They're on Grungo's aura. If you want to move. Yeah, in, you so. could just wander past him. Go there. He's still gonna. Uh, he's still gonna attack you. Yeah. Well, if I wanted to attack anybody, I'd have to go there. That's where yep. I'm from. Right. Stupid. Yeah. So, although, um, although he does take a minus, he takes he's taking a, actually no he's not because he's gonna take a it'd be a minus four because <laughs> he would have had to attack you from there because you were provoking. Right. So like minus two from the from the thing and minus two, my, well minus two from Grungar, minus two from cover. He's not gonna bother. But he should totally do that. <laughs> Okay. It's like he's most likely going to miss and he's most likely going to get killed. So yeah. these things are a little smarter than the previous ones. I mean, their down. hands come back to life, for God's sake. Also, Grungar distributed needs, intelligence. Uh, Grungar needs to be put back on the initiative because he's gone all Oh, yeah, that's right. What was that's, your initiative? Uh, 15. 15. 15. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 15. All right, go ahead and put it on there, I guess. Yes, okay, let's word of exchange <sighs> Corpse of Despair free. <coughs> Alright. We don't agree with him. Yeah, see, okay, see, now Corpse of Despair 2 is illuminated. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Alright, word of exchange versus... Okay, hits. Corpse of Despair 3. 
Yep. Yeah. Okay, negative two total defenses, and it's just the effect, and then my aura is up now, so Gungar and Nemo can resist too. Um, does... I could do natural terrain understanding, even though we're in a house, and Hemic then could shift. I mean, does Hemic want to do that? Uh, I mean, we are in a situation much. where it's a uh, shift two squares. This is an um, encounter, right? It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's an encounter. It's an encounter. Plus, you get two AC. Sure. Mm. Okay. You have okay. You guys have reached your first milestone, by the way. Oh, that's because great. there was I just can two encounters. Charge anyway, but. Yeah. I'll take the AC just because I want to get to a point where they can't hurt actually hit me. Okay. <laughs> they probably they yeah they just they would have to crit to hit you. Okay. Well, yeah. Each ally in the burst, so Gorongar and Hemic plus two power boost AC, and you in addition, uh, you can shift up to two squares as free action. <laughs> he's just gonna. He's like, ah, I need a little more speed on my charge. Why not? <laughs> it's more like it's just so that I can't get attacked. Yeah. I understood the natural terrain of this house. Yeah. And this oak floor calls okay. me. Uh, let's see. You can wander in here if you need to, because the only thing that's in the way is uh, that one guy who will have a minus four. The only thing that's in the way is Tarkus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could actually walk the full amount. I think I will do that, so five. I mean, he'll only have a minus two if he does it at this point, though, I mean. Yeah. Um, that is... Will he? Still... I say well, he... I'm not going to move there, I'm moving. He... Oops, sorry. Okay, He's, he will, he will, just because. Go ahead and okay. do your opportunity attack, or your opportunity action, Grungar. Sure thing. Uh, let's see. Oh. That hits. Does he die? No, he does not. So he's well, going to so do his strangle. He's going to do his strangle versus Cintiq. If he does hit, you do technically have resist too. Oh, you took six damage. Okay, well, so fine. I'm going to put you just like right here. Well, even, no, because it won't stop me because when he does that. They just push Takis out of the way. <laughs> oh, he does. Oh, no, he does. <laughs> oh okay. Because I'd, I'd rather be right, right here. There's not. The... Okay. Well, actually, it's like, it's like yeah, no. It's just like yeah, no. <laughs> We're not having damage. that crap. He uh, grabs Sintiq's shoulder and then just explodes hot, in flames. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Burned his hands off. <laughs> and uh, might as well should. Poor house. Fire. This is friendly. <laughs> <laughs> house is your friend. Fire shroud. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, hit and hit. That actually was decent. Does your house has, have a severe case of heartburn? Ah, oh, Corpse of Despair 3. Mm. Well, he has this half ongoing. Yeah, I know. I was marking it. Yeah, I'm mm. just wondering if the ongoing 5 is going to be enough or if I should... Mm. <laughs> Worst case scenario, he's forced to attack Grungar. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Um, Yeah, I'll just end that there then. Okay. okay. Also, Sinti gets that plus 3 power on Stacey. Yeah. Oh. I buffed everybody with AC. It's great. Okay, uh, zombie stranglers' hands. Uh, they're burned, but, you know, not very burned. They, they, they're they still functional. And it's going... It, they come up, and it's going to shift into Grungar's space. So Grungar, vengeful guardian. <laughs> Grungar, smashy. Does, uh, continues ah, to kill these things. It's... With impunity. Grunger, enemy of hands. Yeah. You know, these they're, hands they're, are they're, they're, try they're not they're else. not much diff the zombie stranglers aren't much different than the rig than uh zomb than regular zombie minions. 
of that are actually level appropriate. These guys are actually level seven minions. They just had the added bonus of coming back with a little extra oomph. Unfortunately, they always seem to attack Grungar because he's really good at positioning himself where they have to. <laughs> I've gotten better. We have hopefully by this point I know how to position. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna if they if they've uh, if they've wasted their hands, then I'm gonna just delete them off the map so I don't get confused and try to bring more hands back. So Grungar, yeah, it is your turn. turn. <laughs> um, gonna just go ahead and hit. Corpse of the Spare 2 with my Drawing Smash. Okay. That hits. Yeah. Alright, and he grants combat advantage. Huh? That's my turn. Alright. Next up is the Corpse of Despair. He takes 5 damage. And he's going to continue to try to use his Crushing Despair on you, Grungar. Mm-hmm. 22 mm. misses. All right. I did feel like total defense. He does not save. Ooh. Yeah. But uh, I felt like that would have been overkill. Yeah. Anyway, Hemic. You guys are doing really good considering you're just four man for your four man party. So course of spare three is bloodied. Yes, he is bloody. Two is not. So what I'll probably do is I'll just come out here and then down here and then uh, okay. make sure I'm in charge and then charge this guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do it. Okay. Oh. Oh, he doesn't have zombie weakness, luckily, but. Uh, this might as well with that damage. <clears throat> and another 19 damage. Does this kill him? Yeah, he is dead. <laughs> that is why you target the guys who aren't bloodied, I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, okay, well, Corpse well, of Despair 3. It's an encounter for me. That's, I hope yeah. that's ever happened for him before. I know, this is weird. It's like some bizarro world. Okay, it's gonna Although continue. Grungar still rolled as many crits. Yeah. Have I? I, I have one. Yeah. Probably. You had two. You crit twice. Oh, I got the melee basic, that's right. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, he misses you. There's not really a lot he can do. He just kind of hangs out there. Does he save, though? He does. He is no longer taking the ongoing. So that's his turn. Tarkus. Yay, well, let's just attack the guy. Uh, yep. Yay, that was awful. No. I rolled good damage, too. <laughs> Oh, well. And he makes, like, good damage? <laughs> to me? <laughs> That's god-awful. I can't even roll that. Actually, I don't think he can roll that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can if I don't get any bonuses, if I'm not charging and they're not prone, and I roll, like, a one. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it, takes, it takes so many factors for you not to be able to roll high. <laughs> All right. Anyway, it's Cintiq's turn. Uh, Nine fourth damage. All right, he dies. He had five health. Oh, I should have done Hellfire Heart. Oh, oh yeah, well. Okay. He, he didn't do much. <laughs> oh, okay. He could have, though. Anyway, so yeah, I guess you guys start dragging these guys out to the... Well, actually, no, you guys don't drag them out. You just kind of... Well, you just let them lie there. You could throw them out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we could toss them at least into this room. Okay, so as you start as you start dragging them down this way, uh, Avon, uh, hang on, come comes out and she's like, ah, good, you clear you cleared them all out. And she's like, all right, there's an extra, there's a, this is our this is our uh, this is our closet. A lot of times we keep our wares in here. We never got a chance to unload before those things ransacked the cart. I don't know what that's like. 
Gungar stealths and prepares to hit her on the head. <laughs> she she pulls out she pulls out a big a big ring of keys and uh hands you hands you one of hands you one of the keys is like this is the key to the master bedroom lock your lock yourself on lock the door on the way out okay is everything around this room a window is that what i'm saying uh window 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 and she's what she's doing is she has her key ring she opens she this is actually a like it's a, it's a it's like multiple locks on this closet she opens it up and goes in and you can and and you can hear you can hear her in there. She's 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 mumbling. She's mumbling, saying like talking about how you know all their goods are gone. And she comes. She she thought that like she comes out saying, "Huh, I thought there'd be more gear in here." And she looks at you. She she looks at you guys and she says, "The weird thing is, I could have sworn I saw." A strange horned man guiding these creatures. I barely got a glimpse at him, and there was a large amount got of panic going on. So keep an eye out. He didn't seem to shuffle around like the rest. Large horned man. So we've got two people wearing horned masks, and one person who just... One person wearing horn mask, one wearing a mask and has horns, one just has horns and no mask. <laughs> <laughs> and is large. And Gungar. So it's like not it, not it, not it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like a it's like a Venn diagram. <laughs> large horned man. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> well, I don't know. She didn't mention cow, so yeah, a man, a man, not a minotaur. Man or male? Let's get this clear. A man, <laughs> like a human. A horned man. Okay. Yes. Uh, but anyway, she's like, she's like keep an keep an eye out. Did you see? Did you see any of our gear out at the uh, out at the cart? <coughs> our wares and whatnot. No, it was all quite gone. Hmm. Those ravaging undead, we encountered some on the road. They don't seem one for looting. So keep an eye out for that gear. So you'd be surprised. Rates apparently do. But that's not the problem here. Let's go. Okay. She's, she's like, very well. Lock yourself on the way out. I'm going to lock myself in here. And it's like an iron, like you see on the ins. Even though it lo- looks like a wooden door on the outside, it's like thick wrought iron on the inside. And she goes in and uh, locks herself in. With a werewolf. No. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be terrible if we forget about her later. <laughs> no, no, she has her key. She has keys for herself. I we just go back. He's like, like a big so ring of find keys. My wife. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, that's what I meant. Like we actually yeah, no, we freaking... totally did. Gee, we just left her in the in the other Yeah. So let's clear out the bottom floor, I guess, or what's left of it. And then head upstairs. We should start with the first floor. Cintiq will lock the door on the way out. Oh he makes okay. he makes still in there, I guess. Yeah. But Cintiq will make sure it gets done. Don't let the door hit you. Where the good lord split you. Okay, so the door to the north. Uh, All locked. right, open it up. Yeah, it is unlocked. Okay. Most of the doors in the house are just unlocked. Okay. Anyway. It, is, it appears to be another bedroom. There's just a pallet in the floor. Okay, wander in here. Does anything attack me? Uh, does no, no, you don't. Nothing attacks you. It's just a room. Okay. It's just a room with an old mattress. Uh, could Tar? Let's see. Could Tarkus come in here just so we could see? Uh... <clears throat> well then, see the room in full. Hmm. 
what, perception check it, or what, what was he doing? I, I just wanted to see the room in full. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It is just a room. Um, I guess there's this part of the house is very separate from the rest, then. <laughs> very interesting. There was a door at the other end here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Of the I guess this up here is a window. And there was also a door right here. Oh, that's, oh. Yeah, I did come in door here. door here and a door here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm just getting rid of things on them. So, um, I guess everyone want to come in here. Uh, does everybody want to come in there? Hemic, are you just going to sit this yeah. one out? <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to. Okay. Well, assuming door is unlocked, we'll go ahead and open it. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, this, this one's locked. Yeah, one's yeah locked. it's... it's uh, oh no no never mind it's not locked uh, the, these doors weren't locked she was just hiding under the table these doors don't the kitchen doors are not the kitchen the dining room doors don't have locks uh, do you want to move in more Dill let's say like go farther up okay alright you open the door and uh you think you hear something scamper around uh, go, so, you know, the encounter has started. It's like something was expecting you. Okay. I don't see anything. Huh. Oh, wait, sorry. I didn't mean Neither to Neither do I. Yeah. They're just not in your line of sight. Unfortunately for Despair 4, he's only capable of rolling initiative. Yes. <laughs> it's like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. <coughs> um. Huh. I'm ready, I'm ready. I can't see anyone. Is it worth it just throwing in one blind? No, you won't catch anything with my view, I can tell you that. Mm, okay, I think what I'll do then is... I'll just see where I'm at, but, um, I will pre mm, Do I want to prepare as watching first? Um... Actually, no. What I'll do is I will prepare a hypnosis for the first creature that enters that square when it moves there and finishes moving, okay. but before it can attack. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll say the next enemy, because I'm going to wander into the room. The next creature, oh, Grungar, walks past that square. That's a good point, enemy. <laughs> well, I mean, it can only target enemies, so. Yeah. I could target you guys with hypnosis. It'd be really useful. Yeah, but you can't. It specifically says enemies only. But what okay. if, what if you're only working with us for convenience and we are all your enemies? I, I suppose that makes things very awkward. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I understand. All right, uh, out of out of out of the out of out of the uh, darkness, a uh, course of despair charges. So he's got combat advantage because he started in the darkness. But uh, Cintiq, go ahead and roll your hypnosis because you saw him just jump out. Yep. Do do do. Oh, I botched. Oh. I couldn't save you. Oh well. Okay, this is just a slam attack because he charged you. He misses. Man, that just sucks. All right, Grungar, it's oh. your turn. I mean, I oh. was going to take that away from him anyways. I just I botched. Um, guess I'm stuck right here. So <laughs> Yeah, you guys haven't had an extended uh, You haven't had a short rest yet. You guys just kind of moved on to the next room. Oh, okay. okay. What did I use? Batter down and... Use uh, batter down. Yeah. And shadow you're a shadow step. Yeah, that's the one I was kind of sad to learn right now. Okay. Then I... Yeah, I really don't have much of a choice but to hit the one in front of me. So, right. drawing smash. Do do do. Ba -ba yeah, that hits. Okay. Love damage. 
<coughs> Tarkus can. Tarkus, do you have anything that can uh, push creatures? <laughs> yes, he does. Pull yeah. slide. All right, Hemic. Uh, what do you do? Okay. Um. Chairs are considered difficult charge. terrain. Just letting you know. I still can charge it. I'll just go like this. Okay. Alright, 20, uh, 27 damage. Alright. Okay. He, he does have cover, though. I, I took two away from that, but yeah, you know, that he still hit. Okay. And another one. Ooh, damn. 21 damage. And then I shift over. Ow. Now, I'm not going to say it because I'm superstitious, but uh, there's a reason why things are going relatively okay. Why is that? I, I don't want to say it. Uh, because I hate to Because no, I hate to put this encounter together. Oh. No, no. <laughs> Hemic has been pretty consistently hitting. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Tarkus. Okay. So why did anyone ask me if I could push stuff? Just to push that guy. Just so we can enter the room at some point. No, we don't need to do that. We can just leave. <laughs> well, we can one just thing leave is, if forever. you do move him, others will probably just take his space. <laughs> it, just, it becomes a, like a... Uh, a conveyor belt. When yeah. one falls, two more replace it. Hydras yeah. are much higher level, but well, I really do want to get to play, I, a, play a Hydra at some point, because they are really fun. Of course, you got to do math with the heads and stuff like that. But It'll just turn out that one of us was a Hydra all along. <laughs> Actually, are we that far off of Hydras? Say what? Are we that far off of Hydras? The lower ones start popping up in late heroic. Oh, yeah, but the, but, the, but the good ones that actually regen heads start at like level 10. Ah, uh, okay. <coughs> not too far off, though. Although I could de-level one, but I just there's not a place for them in this. Like, like they're really like this, this, uh, this area because it is kind of uh, tundra. Well, not really tundra esque, but Canada esque. Doesn't really cater to a lot of reptiles. That's true. Well, maybe if we hit another I mean, small, area. small ones like snakes and stuff like that, you know. But yeah. Anyway, Tarkus, what did we have, you do? Uh, do we have combined combat bomb against that guy? Mm, oh yeah, jarring smash. He's jarring smash. So yeah. Okay. Yay. Uh, let's do this. Also, yeah, if I hit with an outwell, let's me slide the target one square. Oh yeah, full arm. Yeah. Yeah, slide the target one square is a free action. Okay, let's see if this hits. Yay. Okay, I can slide him. Where should I slide him? How do you slide him again exactly? Just my it's just one of my feats. If I hit with an at will power I get to slide them as a one square as a free action. Really? What what was the feat? Uh Heavenly Halberdier. Heavenly Halberdier. Oh that's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh you can slide him I guess you can't slide him to the right one because it's a chair, huh? You can. It's yeah. just difficult oh, to rain. Yeah, it's a slide. Okay. He falls over a chair, breaks his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Sorry, I think that triggered me. <laughs> I, I have I have very bad memories of recently falling. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that was down a flight of stairs, but still. <laughs> I can just imagine. Like, man, my ankle, my ankle is still messed up from that. Like, I, it's been feeling great, and then I tried jogging the other day. I ran about ten feet, and I just felt this crunch. And I was like, "Nope." <laughs> oh, that's uh... it's a. It was a really bad sprain. My, the, it's like all the ligaments are still really tender, and they can still pop like rubber bands if I'm not careful. Like old, rub, like old rubber bands, I should say. Anyway, is that your turn, Tarkus? Uh. Then we'll kill Grungard. No, uh, yeah, that's my thing. All right, Cintiq. 
Really, nothing else goes. Oh, interesting. Um. It's hmm, actually a good question. What do I want to do? Um. Yeah, I guess why not? Um. I guess actually, let me make sure why I can see. Uh, bah, bah. Can I? Yes, I can just see that square. So, let's actually go and basically shoot in the dark here. Like that? Okay. Yeah. So just one target so, or? It's just one target, yeah. He's granting okay. combat advantage, so that's nice. Oh well. That's cool. He also has minus two to defenses. Good for him. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Man, this is just not his day. Eleven damage. All right. And um, do I want to actually step back one? I might. I very much might. Um. I'm going to set back one. And that will be her turn. Alright, Corpse of Despair. He's going to... Uh, he's going to move in the room somewhere. You're not sure where he went. But that's his turn. So next up, Grungar. Okay, um, let's see. I will oh, move over here. Okay, as you move over there, the two creatures who are in there have their ready, had actions ready to charge the first thing that entered. So they both charge at you at the same time. So Corpse of Despair 1, he's going to do, do a slam attack against you. Ooh. Oh, it. Okay, and the Coffer Corpse also does a slam attack against you. Uh, what was the damage? 14, okay. Oh! Okay, uh, 24 damage, Grungar, and you are grabbed. Until the grab ends, you take ongoing 15 damage. Uh, uh, 24. And I'm grabbed. States, basic conditions. Grab. And you're in difficult terrain, if that's worth anything. Not really. But anyway, nah, it's still your really. turn. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Um. I don't know. I don't want to lose my aura, but then again, I'm grabbed and I don't like this. <coughs> I got an idea. Okay. We will brutal slam the guy grabbing me. Brutal slam... Yeah, the coffer corpse. You, you, which one was that? Is that the primal one? Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah. Okay, kill my okay. Rock. I, I, I got confused. I, for some reason, I got confused with batter down. Batter down's the one you already used. That's why I was wondering. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, coffer <laughs> corpse. Go ahead. All right. Uh, bam. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that hits. Twenty-six damage. Mm -hmm. He's pushed back. Uh, only one square actually, and he'll go prime. All right. Okay, so I'm not grabbed anymore. All right, well, that's good. And uh, after this, we're going to hit another milestone, I think. So, mm -hmm. action point, one of the two I still have, and second wind. All right. Oh, and you get bonuses to that because of those gauntlets. Yeah, that's why I did it. So I have... What's my effective AC? <coughs> Plus 23, two. 24, it's 26. Uh, I'm at 27. Mm. Or no, 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 I'm at... 26, yeah, 27. Oh, 27? Yeah, because yeah, I get plus 2 from second win, an additional plus 2 because of the gauntlets. Oh, really? Oh, mm -hmm. that's right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So, Jeez. and I get the heal 16. So, yep, that's why I did that. And I lose my aura, but, hey, it's okay. Yeah, right. 
Hemek, it's your turn. Two, three. Uh, is that a dude there? That's a dude there. So, uh, can I have charged that instead? Yeah, he has superior cover, but yeah, you can charge him. He's no longer granted combat advantage, though. I forgot about that because Grungar's uh, was turn I ended. From him, probably not. No, you were not. Oh, I rolled Six twenty. Okay, so twenty-three versus AC. That still hits. Probably kills it. It is. Yep. It does. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, I'll just shift one back then. All right. Coffer corpse stands up from prone. <laughs> You're an awkward place, aren't you? He moves like this, and he action points to do a double attack. Yep. Ah! Grungar is tank even when I choose not to be a tank. <laughs> Tarkus. Oh god, my my uh, halfling was such a tank. It was unbelievable. Hmm. He had so many untyped bonuses. Like, he had one where if he was adjacent to two enemies, he would get, like, a plus two to AC. Oh, I would love that. Oh, yeah. I oh, half, one. It was, he, was a halfling, he was a halfling berserker. Oh. Yeah, that's lost in the multi, crowd. Multi, yeah, multi-classed him fighter. And uh, that, way, that way at Paragon, he got giant slayer. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's just attack the... Coffer Corpse. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Mm, that hits. Yay. Okay. Um, does Grungar want a rune of mending? Yes, please. <coughs> I still have one left. I will take it. Thank you. Okay. Uh... You guys are doing pretty good, considering it's only a four-man party. Granted, ah. you're also doing, like, encounters where there's only, like, two guys or three guys. So, yeah, mm. yeah. I think it's balancing out pretty I well. Didn't, I didn't check the box for rune protection yet, but everyone within five gets plus one to all defenses. Also, Grungar can choose the defenses or shift if he wants. Is it a power bonus? Um, uh, last Legion officer, I'm pretty sure, is not a power bonus. No, it's not. It's just a bonus. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take. <laughs> I'll take it. Twenty nine AC. <laughs> also, also, you get plus one to all your defenses from my actual healing. So. Thirty AC. Let's do this. <laughs> God, uh, we're very slowly get, being able to stack all these mini bonuses. Mm -hmm. All right, Cintiq. Ah, uh, hmm. I, I can tell you this much. Um, there is nothing down here. Right now, at least. I guess moving in there with the car for a while, I guess I can always try to hide yep. it if something And remember there. the door remember doorways are hard corners, so you know you can't yeah. diagonal them. Um Okay. I'm gonna be over Turks's space, but I need to actually see inside the room, so Yeah. And I'll just move straight down from him, so five and then yes. six. Yeah. Okay, um, I cannot really do much against this guy solo, but, uh, um, Shot of evil, should. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might as well should try to hit him with Scorching Burst, because why not? Yeah. Do note that we will get another action point after this, and I think most of us had two. Yeah. Grungar is the only one who does not, because he spent second wind. Yeah. Okay. So, Scorching Burst there. Okay. Boop, boop. One target. 14 damage. Nice. Yeah. And then, um... Yeah. Action point 
to prepare hypnotism for when he goes to make his attack. Okay. So when he goes <laughs> to make his attack, I use hypnotism on him. That All right. Your turn. It is Grungar's turn. Yay! I get to bust out the Berserker variants. <laughs> During Smash Barbarian. Give me Ouch. my extra damage. Make it hurt now. Hemic. Okay. Um, <coughs> even Ooh, I actually, in hindsight, maybe I should have actually point to get away. Like, yeah, you try. would just you you could uh, you would have to start here because these aren't these aren't soft corners. Yeah, but, but I can still yeah. charge to the square. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Okay, yeah, pretty sure that hits. I should have action point to run away. Oh well. Well. Boop boop. <laughs> yeah, gunning fox. Sure you don't want to do the second one first? I mean, you don't need to. Uh, they're both okay. dead. Well, anyway, let's see here. I don't see any others to kill. Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry. This is what happens when this guy gets yeah, up. Yeah, remember, the coffer corpse is the one oh. who does this. Yeah, I okay, wouldn't so have been able to see here, so drop it. This is uh, all four of you guys. Uh, Left uh, to right, top to bottom. It's 18, 19, 21, 28. Yeah. Four. Oh, you barely. Oh, no, it's only an ace. Oh, yeah, well. matched it. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, remember, we all, have, we, all, we all have plus one from my heel to Grunga. I am stunned. Oh, that is why I should have action point to get away. I forgot Hemic went before him. You so, got plus one all defenses, then it yeah, misses me. Plus one, and the funny thing is that saves me by one, too. <laughs> My heal to Grunga with plus one to all our defenses saved some uh, of us. No, Grungar so, still got hit. Damn it. <laughs> so, so, so who got hit? Grungar and Sintiq got hit? Yes. yes. The last two. Did Hemic get hit, too? No. Oh, wow, nice. Basic conditions. Of course, okay, so, dazed. Okay. Miss, you guys are... If, you, if it was missed, you're dazed. Okay. Until the end of the Coffer Corpse's next turn. But he makes in a pretty nice position there, even if he is dazed. But anyway, go ahead and mark yourself as dazed. But anyway, the Coffer Corpse uh, is going to... Double attack Grungar. <clears throat> nope. Even they even stunned, I'm still okay. Okay. Anyway, he's going to uh move he's gonna move down here. Okay. And uh that's that's all he can do. Stunned until the end of the... Okay, so after... Now I'm just dazed. No, What's until the end of his next turn. Oh, okay, so the following turn. Apparently on the yeah. creature's turn, they have to move as far away as they can. Oh, that's right. I don't that know if that, I, that was on the miss, though. It's not actually on the uh, people who got dazed. Yeah, uh... Yeah, it'll still mess up with um, Hemic. And... Oh, no, 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 I see. No, actually, no, the after effect is the miss effect. Okay, so, yeah, that applies to everybody. We all have to run away from Yeah, them. so, uh, yeah, well, Tar Tarkus and Hemic, I guess, would have ran ran as far away as they could from him, and then they were dazed. Well, it's on your what next turn. It yeah, yeah it's, it's on the... Oh, on your next turn? That's yeah, what so... makes it so bad, because it uses up your one action. Yeah. Yeah, you'll move. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That is why I really wish I'd remembered Hemic was going next, because I would have moved away from the burst size. Oh well. Well, it's 20. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, Tarkus, uh, oh. Tarkus, run. Said. Of course, actually, as you try to run, he will try to slam you as you're running away. Uh, it, hmm, would I run up to the top, like, northwest? Yeah, you would. Yeah, because it's diagonally. But anyway, well, he's going to... You don't. You try to run, but 
Uh, uh, yeah. You don't really make it. You are grabbed. Okay. Well, you don't. Good. You don't take the ongoing fifteen yet, but you are grabbed. Sixty Six. damage. Uh, this is where we die a horrible death. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, that was your action. Cintiq, you are stunned. Yep. That's her turn. Grungar, you are stunned. Hemic, run. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, move him. You would just you would just move to here. Mm -hmm. So you just go like that, and uh, that's all you can do. So the coffer corpse. He's also going to try to uh, slam Cintiq. He can't do the double attack if he's grabbing two people. So he's just going to uh, slam Cintiq with his other hand. So he's just going to be grabbing two different people. Okay. We'll probably hit. Yep. 23. 19 damage. Uh, you're grabbed. Uh. And uh, that's uh, his turn. So... Tarkus and Hemic are no longer dazed, and Grungar and Cintiq are just regular dazed now instead of stunned. So, Tarkus, take 15 damage. Yeah, 15 damage. That's great. Okay. Uh, let's do a thing. Okay, let's just word of exchange. Yeah. Please hit. I want this to hit so I can sh slide him. <laughs> okay, I think that hits. Yeah, 12 damage. Okay, uh. well, I'm going to slide him to the right. Alright. Yeah, yeah so you're not stunned, you're just dazed. Oh, yeah. I didn't change it. I, I know that I just didn't change it yet. I'll do that. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. Okay, Cintiq, uh, you must move your speed away from him. Actually, I think I'll, I think before like the end of my turn, I think I'll just action point and use Wolf's Rend on him. Okay, but well, all right, so Wolf's Rend. Yep. Then. Yep. It's just quick. Uh. No, that probably misses. 15 versus reflex, that misses. Well, he has negative 2. I don't know if that matters. Uh, actually, okay, with, neg with negative 2, yeah, that hits. So. Okay. Word of exchange is great. Okay, so he's prone. Uh, okay. That hits. Yay! Wow. Second time you <laughs> well on that. Okay. Right. But anyway, sin sin oh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, it was still Tarkus's turn. Sorry. No, yeah, that was it. Because I used action point, I don't have anything else. I'm <clears throat> okay. All right, Cintiq, uh, you got to move your speed away from him now. Where do I move once I get to Tarkus's square? Do I move left or up? You move up, up. into the ceiling. You move up and then over. Okay. Uh... So it's up to your speed, you know. So I'll slam into his yeah. All right, so that's your turn. Grungar, move. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, as you're doing that, he's going to, from the floor, he's going to try to use his slam attack. Uh -huh. So it's a minus two. He botches. Yeah. He grabs the table leg. <laughs> so, or the chair leg. Anyway, uh, so that's your turn. Hemic, you go. You make oh, wanders back in. Charge you this one. I'm gonna be in my charge <coughs> stance. All right. Do I have combat advantage? Yeah, he's prone. Oh yeah, that's right. Tarkus so, knocked him prone. Ouch. He might be dead already. No. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, he is dead. <laughs> you chop his head clean off. That's three crits. 
You, yeah, you like run in and jump on top of and kick the chair out of the way as you do so. The chair leg he was grabbing because he missed Grungar. Well, that's uh, everything. For that's me. that is the that. encounter. We are a short resting after this. Yep. Okay, well, I assume you guys just kind of drag this out here, them out to the you know the inner porch area not the actual porch but the the inner patio yeah we'll just leave a fire burning there and toss bodies <laughs> in okay i'm just gonna delete them then if you guys are just like throwing them all right so anyway there's a door here and there was also a door in here Puma man, he flies like a moron. Oh, I could have been safe from that. Oh, well. Well, not safe entirely yeah. from it, but it would have probably just stuck with them up there. See, this is what happens when you don't properly dispose of coffer corpses. <laughs> that was pretty nice. I was kind of, I was kind of pleased with how that went, where he actually got to use his fear effect properly. So close. One, one more. I could have actually somehow avoided it. Okay, so which one like do we that, want to do? That da the daze effect, though, is basically a stun effect, though, because you have to use your move action. Yeah, but at least it's not two turns of not doing anything, as opposed to yeah. one. Honestly, the daze yeah, effect in many situations is going to be worse than the stun. Because with you moving because away, it's you're provoke probably going to provoke attacks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's just—it's really nasty. But even combo. then, even 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 then, the, when the stun ends, it's the effect of the days. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. Uh, so you, I assume you guys were just going to take a short rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. That is. Let's see here. So outside, then the patio. So that was one milestone. Okay. It's like a fifth fight or something. And then, let's see here. Outside, then the patio, then the bedroom, and then the room you're in now. So, yeah, you ha you've hit two milestones. You just hit two milestones. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity to spend an action point yet. I keep killing things before I get it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, uh, Grungar, you open this door. Yep, if everyone's ready. Okay, you open the door. Squeak. There's another door on the other side. And uh, there appears to be stairs going down to what looks like a basement. Oh, lovely. Ew. You know, like basements. Okay. <clears throat> everyone prepared for me. door right there? Yeah. Okay. So everybody's going to stack up before you open it. Everybody in the position they like? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty much. Hemic is in right, the ballista open, position. Oh, no, no. You open. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're in the ballista no, position. I want to be able to see at least. <laughs> tut, 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 tut. Well, okay. that's what I meant, though. It was like, he was like, just in case there's a ballista, I'm going to be right over Okay, there. You, found, you, found, you found the kitchen proper. Ooh. It, looks, it looks like, you know, this looks like old spoiled food. Aw. Hey, let's see. While we're here for a minute or two, I will tempt it. I know you said spoiled, but maybe, just maybe. Ah, uh, you don't find anything good. You, I mean, you know, even with a good perception check, you don't find anything good. It, it really is. It's just bad food. <laughs> there's, there's the a front. door. There's a door here. Right, that's the one to the front. Yeah. Well, te I mean, technically, this is kind of the front, but you know, you know, it's, there's two ways into this place. Mm. Okay, <laughs> up or down? Where do we think we should go? Actually, the, if maybe Tarkus can notice it, um, did that perception check? Because I know we saw the stuff being dragged into here. Did we see like maybe skid marks or anything? Yeah, it goes downstairs. 
Yeah, I, okay. So, downstairs first? Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah, of course, then. Okay. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, copy you guys over to the uh, basement map. This may be a little while to load because it was slightly bigger resolution. 